Hello, it's December, and some people start saying Merry Christmas to you.、Uh, in Japan, probably people would say just before Merry Christmas, I guess, or the Christmas、uh, started, and then people started to say. But in many countries,、uh, December 1st is the beginning of Christmas. Therefore, people start greeting each other saying Merry Christmas. So I would say again, Merry Christmas to all of you. But of course, some people do not believe in it. If it's so, well, I would say, wishing you happy year ending and the beginning, all right? Or happy December to you. It is getting、uh, darker. After like three thirty in the afternoon, and of course, the morning comes later too because、uh, in the north hemisphere,、uh, the night time is expands. But then in the south hemisphere, like Australia, Argentina, Chile, South Africa. New Zealand, of course, they are having the summertime. Yes. However, let's start today's、uh, lesson, I would say. Okay. The idioms for today are. What are they? <laughs> Excuse me, I lost the pages here. Yes. One is. To tear down, and the other one is to tear up. Okay, to tear down means to demolish, you know. For example,、um, they tore down the old building one day, and I now don't even remember what it was. It happens, right? We've been. We, Watching or seeing or using the building all the time, then once it's gone, you don't know what it was before. That's happening all the time in this country, in Japan, especially in my town where I live, which is in Yokohama City. Okay. The second sentence, let's say, okay, talking about Tokyo. um All the you know, buildings constantly are changing, and they're always tearing something else down. Now, the second word is to tear up, that means to tear completely into small pieces. Like some of the paper or all the love letter that you are no longer having the relationship with. Okay. For example,、um, I tore up the letter angrily and,、uh, okay, throw it piece by piece into the trash basket. Oh, do you have the same kind of experience? Or, Uh, okay, I have to tear up all the students' documents or writing, etc., after grading them,、uh, which is my university's rule or policy to protect their privacy, right? So, okay, but I don't have the、uh, Uh, a machine which tears up all the paper or documents. So I have to do it analogically, manually, or using the、uh, scissors. Or sometimes, if they are thin enough, I can use my fingers to tear them up. Okay, today's words two of them, of course. One is absurd. Absurd means,、um, okay, plainly not true or sensible. It means foolish. 
for example, uh, it was absurd to believe the fisher's tail because they usually tell a lot. Oh, I caught this big fish. Oh, it was this big. It was this big, you know, fish story. That's what's coming from. Or, uh, okay. Oh, yes, talking about those fishers. In Japan, they put the ink on the fish you catch. And they put their paper or the uh, cheesecloth, something like that, to make it sure that you have the printing proof there. So, but without such a proof, who would really believe uh, the features whole tale? Okay, another sentence, for example, I think uh, it is absurd not to think about or I would say underestimating the importance of SDGs. Let me try it again. Okay. Und under <laughs> underestimating the importance of the SDGs is absurd, I would say. I mean, we have all those evidence and the proofs everywhere, right? And it is urgent that we must do something about that. The last word for today is conflict. It means direct opposition or disagreement. For example, um, let's say, oh yes, there was a noisy conflict over which was the better soccer team. Have you ever heard of them? Or let's say this is the also a fact. Um, the Queen Elizabeth II and the ex Prime Minister of England, uh, Miss Margaret Hilda Thatcher, conflicted in opinion frequently. That's a fact, and everybody knows about it. So that's all for today, and I wish you a good month uh this month the last month of the year december okay see you next week bye for now